You might want to look in the closet, though. Boys and girls, can we give this hype a big round of applause? Morgan, were you surprised? Did you know anything about what's going to happen? Are you excited? Thank you for all your service, what you do for our country. Thank you for being part of our chant community. And boys and girls, great job helping us make this happen today. One more round of applause for Ms. Heitman. All she does. Thank you guys so much. Welcome back. Thank you. Happy to be back to see green grass and trees. <laughs> Morgan, you want to spend some time with mom outside of the classroom? All right, come on. Simbaloo can wait. All right, I think um, I'm going to take Morgan home. <laughs> uh, if that's okay. Absolutely. It's okay. Morgan, get your backpack. And... Thank you guys for coming and supporting me. Morgan is extremely resilient. She, um, she's like I said, has been through eight deployments with my husband. She's, uh, he's been gone 
starting since she was uh, three months old, oh. um, up until uh, his last appointment, I think he got back in 2012. Um, uh, she does really well. Um, our parents help out a lot. Um, she stays with my parents for at least a month every summer in Michigan. Uh, my husband's parents help out every weekend when Eric has drill. First thing that went through my mind is she's gotten so big and she's so beautiful. And I miss her so much and I couldn't wait to give you a hug. Elementary school honored our nation's heroes during a special assembly on Tuesday, but there was an extra special surprise in store for 11 year old Maddie Gamble. Maddie didn't know she would get to see her dad. She hasn't seen him since he left for Korea seven months ago to serve in the Air Force, but he came back Monday. And my father in law picked me up at the airport and I stayed the night at their house last night keeping the secret. Maddie was one of four students who won an essay contest about who their hero is and why. My hero is super important to me for a good reason. He's my dad. 
after Maddie read her essay, her hero walked in. And her jumping off the stage was running to my arms. The look on her face was just was amazing. I thought this was like a dream and it was not reality at all. A special moment between father and daughter that was made even better through Maddie's words from the heart. I know she loves me, but hearing that coming from in writing, how she actually feels about me, you know, as, as a parent, you don't, you don't hear those things every day. He's just a wonderful person. He couldn't, it couldn't get any better. Master Sergeant Gamble will be home for the next three weeks where he will get to spend time with his family. He will then go back overseas to complete his tour. Reporting in Conway, April Baker, WPDE News Channel 15. To help us honor our service members, we're pleased to have with us today the recently crowned Miss California, Marina and Sarah. special moment and for me it really touches my heart because my father was in the United States Marine and when I was that little boy's age my father was serving in the military as well overseas in Japan spending an entire year away from his family and so I know what it you know how it feels as a little kid to not see their daddy and to be a part of that special moment to watch him come home and see his dad again is so very special so it's so great that SeaWorld honors the men and women of our military and the world that we share. For the past few times where I've gone out to sea for a while and uh, come back, he's took him a little time to warm up to me. Like he didn't recognize me at first, so I was kind of hoping that wasn't the situation here. And, uh, <laughs> share my heart is not to cry. So, you know, it was great. I haven't seen him in a while. Well, the whole time he's been in and out. So for T, like he said, for so for TJ actually seeing him and recognizing him was was a great feeling. Were you happy? 